On this episode of Ben's Works, we're going to take this piece of burl, some water-based dye, and throw it in the pressure pot. So this is going to be one of those experimental projects. I know we should really be using a vacuum chamber, but all I've got is my pressure pot. So I'm going to add some water into this cup. We're going to put some dye in there sink in the burl. I'll run the pot up to about 50 psi. We'll leave it overnight and we'll check our results. Kind of looks like blood, doesn't it? All right, I'm going to drop the burl in there. And I guess all that's left is to drop it in the pot. So now we'll just pump our air in. I'm just going to go up to 50 psi. And now we'll come back tomorrow. So it's now the next day. Let's see what we got. So there's our burl sitting inside of there. So you can see there it's got a red tinge to it. Now I'm going to go stick it in the oven to dry it out. And then I want to try double dyeing it. Where I'm going to put it in a cup of blue ink this time. So I've taken it out of the oven and I've let it cool down. And you can see the effect that the dyes had here. It doesn't look too bad. So I've now got some blue dye and we'll repeat the process. Now I think because this was a darker colored dye, it's probably taken a bit better. But I'm gonna go shove this in the oven again and we'll see what we got. So we've taken it out of the oven and this is what we have. You can see here that the blue has certainly overpowered the red and I was kind of expecting that and you can see here from the original that the dye has worked quite well. Well like I said at the beginning of the video this was just going to be an experiment and it looks like it's worked quite well. If you want to see what I end up making with this burl check out my next video where I'm going to cast this in resin and turn it on the lathe. I hope you enjoyed this video, thanks for watching and I'll catch you next time.